Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an orange Halloween-y autumn-y inspired set using the new Madame Glam gel polishes. So I've got five here today. Altogether there are eight. This one is called Pumpkin Palace, I think it said, and it's a really, really nice orange and we're gonna base a lot of our design around that orange. This collection is called Gel, po gel Potion, which is why I, I was kind of distraught between an autumn set and a Halloween set. And um, the names of these gel polishes, I, as you can see, are very Halloween-y. So I thought, why not? We can just go straight into Halloween designs today. This is a really, really nice grey. It's given a little bit of kind of green undertones. It's one of those. This one's called Wicked Whisper. And it pairs so beautifully with that cream orange that we had earlier. As you can see, it's much lighter than the other orange, which is nice because it creates that nice contrast between the two. But it has the most stunning shimmer. This one's called Scarlet Red, and again, it's just a red with a shimmer, very similar to that orange one. So it looks like they've come out of a couple of normal, you know, cream colours, <laughs> and then a couple that are sparkly and beautiful. They've been coming out with quite a lot of these recently, and I love them. I love the consistency and the sparkle that they have, and a little bit goes such a long way. They're such a great kind of consistency and glitter to have in your collection they're almost giving chromey vibes in a way but i don't know it's just so nice to work with they're really really pigmented and very glittery and it's just a dream to work with as you will see today so in addition to all those colors that i showed you we're only gonna use a couple but with those we're also going to use food coma which is what i'm using right now and we're also are going to use perfect black all, to, all both of those are also from Madame Glam it's just one of their <laughs> older gel polishes that they have and i absolutely love so two nails are going to be nude. One nail is that beautiful Pumpkin Palace colour. And especially with this colour, I just found it to be so pigmented. Even now here, compared to this Food Coma, you can see how well pigmented it is. And honestly, you could most of the time get away with one coat. Later on, I will be doing some French dip and some kind of squared liner work. And I literally got away with one coat. Like, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even notice that I just did one coat. It was just so great. And I love one gel polishes. I like that because it's just, sometimes it's not necessary to do two coats. And it's so nice. And it's so much better when it comes to times. So if you've got a lot of clients, then obviously, you know, you're cutting down your time of doing a service, which is always amazing. And you can fit more clients in and stuff like that, or just naturally have more time for yourself. As you can see here, we do have two ombre nails. I do only show you the one, but this time around in the video, I thought I'll show you guys me doing both steps because I usually show you guys me doing the first one and then the whole set goes into the lamp and I do the other coat off camera but I've been noticing quite a lot of comments asking me if I could do another coat on camera for you guys to see what I do and how it ends up looking so here it is this is what I do with the second coat identical to the first yet somehow the second coat just makes it look like a hundred times better and I basically end up just swiping back and forth up and down whatever it is until I'm just happy with what it looks like sometimes I leave it not too perfect and it's fine it's an ombre and it will never be the same really um and often when you do a top coat it does kind of smooth out those lines a little bit too so it does help once that's done, on the second layer of the orange, I am sprinkling on a glitter that literally matches that orange perfectly. So that's why I wanted to use it. It's just a fine glitter. This one's from Larissi. Just a nice fine orange autumn colour. Righty, now everything's cured. Time for some art. So on one of our nude nails, Food Coma, we're going to draw a line down the centre and one diagonally. Well, side to side. <laughs> Um, and then you're going to colour in top right hand side and then bottom left hand side um, square or little fragment that you've just created. So the other two are going to be left with the food coma colour. If you wanted to save yourself I guess a gel polish or a little bit of the gel polish you could just straight from the start draw out those little kind of squares and color it in all up to you i find this method to be the easiest i might end up using obviously a bit more of the food coma than maybe i would have liked because of course now it's underneath the orange but it just personally makes my life easier i just find it much nicer i've already done the french tip nail and i don't usually do that i'm usually pretty good on camera but i actually forgot to press record and i'm lucky that i've noticed only after doing one nail and not all of them so i am glad i did unfortunately miss it but i've got so much footage on my channel with me doing french tips literally almost every other set as a french tip so if you're new and you're interested in how i do them then just quickly cl uh, click on my most recent other designs and i'm pretty sure they'll most likely include a french tip in there 
Um, but with this beautiful orange, I'm going to outline some of the work that I've done. So here I'm doing the line down in the center and side to side. The French tip had a small line outline too. Now on one of the ombre nails, I wanted to do some more hand painted work. I've been doing quite a lot of stamping and I just love stamping. I've already fallen in love with it. I find that it makes the artwork so much easier and nicer to do. Um, and I don't have to really rely on the skill of doing it as much, if that makes sense, of the actual art. I can just, as long as I'm able to envision something, then that's all I really need to do, which I'm not always the best at, but, uh, you know, practice makes perfect. But today, specifically, I really, really wanted to try and include as much hand bits and bobs as I possibly can, which is why I'm attempting a bat hand-painted yeah, just a hand-painted bat. And I do obviously have some stamping plays with bats, but I really, really wanted to commit and do it with my hands rather than, you know, obviously stamping. So I'm starting off with a dot with a line down the centre, and then I'm doing these kind of... Oh, I'm starting with the arms, I guess, the little wings. And then I'm doing these half-circle patterns underneath. I'm really bad usually at explaining this. It's been a while since I've done some hand... Like, intricate hand bits, so I didn't really have to explain stuff like that for a long time now to be honest um but yeah i remember the days where i used to do so much and it's always been such a tricky little bit for me to explain exactly how i'm doing things so luckily there's footage and everybody can hopefully see what i'm doing and once the two bats are done i am doing a couple of dots and uh two of them are going to end up being i think two two or three are going to end up being little stars so i'm just dragging out four lines from the dot and then with the gray that i showed earlier i'm going to do a couple of dots around it too i would have preferred it to be white but i thought the gray is kind of close enough and i really wanted to include as many of those colors from the new collection as i could to show you guys what they look like so i ended up using all together it looks like i used three out of the five that i got and of course all together there are eight so um let me just tell you the names of the ones i don't have whilst i'm doing this spider up in the corner so there's a color called moonlight mystique which is a bluey glittery one they've got midnight hour which looks to be a really dark brown color they've also got enchanted green which again is just a sparkly almost like a nice halloweeny slash christmasy green that looks sparkly so those are the ones that i'm missing it will be on their website i will have all the links in the description for you guys to check them out in case you wanted to pick anything up and um my discount code should save you guys some money which is nice once the spider web in the corner is done and cured time for some stamping and i noticed after i'm editing the video that i've never actually showed you guys what the plate is called so this one is a born pretty plate i don't know what the number is i've I actually misplaced it since filming and I couldn't find it when I was about to voice it just now so I'm really sorry but hopefully it's pretty easy to get I did get this on AliExpress I am hoping that it's still there and it's easily accessible but I've only picked up those little hearts with stars um and I placed it on the orange squares so you can basically kind of pick out whatever you want whatever kind of plate you've got at home that would kind of fit in the little square that you've created yourself and pop it in there it does not have to be identical to mine as you can see they're a bit wild one bit has some a heart spider web the other bit has like this little dagger so it was I was only really looking for anything that would fit into those little squares that I created I guess and that I liked so that's how that nail pretty much came to be there's really no pressure in having that exact same plate. Anything would do. And um, those dagger, the dagger plate was from Mogi London. I know that they're discontinuing a lot of things. So it's really hard because I've got so many of the plates. I do use them quite often. And it's quite um, upsetting, to be honest, that they're going to discontinue. Because they, they did such a good job. Not all of their plates were a hit, but some were. So really, really shame that they're kind of going away from that and focusing on those little gel strips. But what can we do? Hopefully, um... They are still up though, so hopefully whatever I'm showing, hopefully you can still get your hands on. But yeah, um, the French tip nail, only on the French tip part, I popped some bats. Again, a lot of plates have bats, so it's not really compulsory or, or you know anything like that to actually have the exact same one. As long as you just have a plate with some bats on, you're good to go pretty much. This one is another Moe London, so altogether I did use three different plates. And on the other ombre nail, I decided to go in with a grey colour to match up with those grey dots that we did earlier to bring the colors together and not make it kind of stand out on its own and then on top of that nail once it's all dry of course because the stamping polish is just a regular polish it's not a gel polish 
I am doing some black drips. So I start off with three dots, one lower than the other two. Usually the lower one I usually do in the middle. And then I'm dragging out a line, connecting the sides of the dots to the line that I created going up. And then I'm going to do almost like these half circle swoops to connect the two um, side by side but side by side drips and then I'm going to colour it in once it's coloured that will go into the lamp for a cure black is super pigmented and I just did not have to do another coat which was really really nice usually with lines like this I never want to do two coats because it's just so time consuming you have to really be careful same with the bats I did not have to do another coat which was nice um those I just love those kind of gel polishes honestly saves you a lot of time especially if you're doing artwork by hand and stuff now that that's cured using the orange which was a little bit of a challenge I have to admit I um, went around the dots. Once I'm happy with that, that will go into the lamp. And again, I also just used one coat. I just used one coat, which is really nice. And again, you can see how pigmented these glitters are. I just remember the days where I used to always get glitters that were just so... It was mainly like clear gel polish with just a sprinkle of glitter and that would always be such a pain to kind of cover your whole nail with glitter. And these are so amazing, so glittery, and I can just do a nice thin layer and still get a lot of that glitter, which is absolutely amazing. So again, once that's in the lamp, at that stage we are going to be top coating. So just to use on my channel, we are going to matte top coat. The matte top coat I'm using is from Madame Glam as well. This one's the velvet matte top coat. It's amazing again as well. Basically everything that they do is amazing. I'm, a, I'm basically obsessed and in love. If any of you guys saw my recent gel polish wall, you can tell how obsessed I am. I've got literally any colour under the planet from them at this point. Um, once that's cured and done, we do have a very small little fragment of charmy glitters happening. So on the French dip nail, I almost forgot the name, <laughs> it's a French dip. I'm going to place this black bow and then that's gone into lamp. And then in the center here, I just felt like there was something missing. So I decided to pop down this little circle-y blacky has like this greeny reflection to it but it is black in person which is so funny it's just when the light hits it's kind of giving off greeny goldy yellowy vibes um and then surrounding it i'm going to place some ab crystals all around it and then that will go as the final little piece into the lamp for a nice cure once that comes out i'll pop it onto my little stand that i usually do and then i'll show you guys the final result i'm so excited for you guys to see it and please let me know in the comments what you think of it i am starting all my halloween designs so there'll be a lot of crazy designs coming up here it is here are the final results i hope you guys liked the video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would love to see you all in my next video bye guys